everyone! So a phrase that I've seen a lot over the past couple of weeks and also the past few years at least is New Year, New Me. Now I totally understand the ideology behind it that the New Year is a good time to start making new habits and breaking bad habits that you've had in the past few years but I don't really like the way that it's phrased entirely. To me, the idea of a new me signifies that you're trying to change everything about yourself and that you don't really like who you are completely. Now for me, I think that sets a really bad example. I think that if you're trying to make resolutions and you're trying to change things, you're just trying to improve on the person that you already are. I think on a whole, everybody is not as accepting of themselves as they should be. I think it's easy to find flaws with yourself rather than seeing flaws in other people because you're constantly assessing yourself and you're judging yourself all the time, at least I know that I am. I feel like society as a whole has delved into this pit of picking flaws of yourself and not accepting yourself as much and it's reinforced every day in the general media. Um, and then towards the end of December you've always got those posts and sponsored posts and sponsored adverts across Facebook and all the social media and all over the TV trying to encourage you to lose weight so there's the detoxing things, gym memberships, fitness stuff going everywhere because it's trying to tell you to not accept who you are and it's fine if you do want to lose weight and if you do want to tone up and if you do want to improve your fitness and if you do want to detox and if you do want to change your eating styles I think what I'm trying to get at is the fact that it shouldn't be about becoming a new you it should be about improving on the fact that you are already a good person and you just want to change tiny things to make yourself even better and yet I understand that the new year is a great place to start for that it's new beginnings, it's a fresh page, you can start new diaries, you can start new notebooks you can keep a track of everything easier and I don't personally see anything wrong with that but only if you're doing it for yourself and you're not feeling forced into doing it by someone else or by what you've seen online or on the TV. That being said, this year I don't really have any proper resolutions. Every year I always say stop biting my nails. They're still being bitten. And I say go to the gym more. Last year I didn't go for nine months. <laughs> uh, go running. I think I stopped in July and I've not been since. I always start with the usual sort of big changes that everybody wants to try and make happen in their life. But sometimes putting and setting a big goal can be one of the worst things you can do. So I'm going to try and do small baby steps this year. This year I want to try and go to the gym at least once a month, which is easy enough to do. And if I go after work, I know that I could go a couple of times a week at least if I have my gym bag in the car and I don't forget it. <laughs> I just want to try and be the better version of myself that I can. So this year I'm just doing the small things that I can to try and do that. Uh, that being said, I have made a blog post, which I'll leave a link to down below, about the three achievements, I'm going to say, really, that I want to try and get this year. Um, I can't remember them off the top of my head because I'm a bit useless. And for you out there, are any of you thinking of making any big life changes this year? Have you got any achievements or goals that you've set for yourself? Have you made any resolutions? If so, leave me a comment down below. I love to read them. Um, if you like this video, don't forget to give it a like and also don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more videos from this channel. I hope you are well and until next time, bye!